but there's one huge problem with this bus. Welcome back to the workshop everybody and I'm going to give you a couple of updates because we're going to be working on Kong. A couple of updates, we're actually going to show you what we're doing today. Right, so we have two very, very, very large 380 watt solar panels. Bear in mind I'm six foot, so they're not far short of six foot. So, and we've got two of those to go on the roof. But there's one huge problem with this bus. It's a fiberglass body and nowhere physical we can attach. Um, I've got the plastic mounting brackets, even the metal ones, because of the curvature of the roof, it's causing me a bit of a problem. As you can see, it's quite a curve on that roof. Right, excuse the lines flashing, that's the workshop lights. Yeah, so the curvature of the roof is making it hard to mount the panels. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same as we did with the Renault traffic. I'm going to build one out of Unistrut. Now, locating it and everything, with obviously everything, everything's just curved. There's no way to get any good measurements. But, now I pull the roof down inside, Right, so as you can see, we're inside the bus. Now, fiberglass roof, but it's got this steel box section skeleton. So yeah, I'm gonna be using that. So the plan is, let me show you what I've done so far. There is the Unistrut. Now I have, that's a three meter length. I've also got another two three meter lengths. I'm gonna cut one of them in half. So we're gonna have four and a half meters of Unistrut on both sides. Now I'm attaching the Unistrut to the inside brace here, but on the outside of course. But it's gonna be attached from the outside to this, because it's gonna be the strongest place on the van to attach it. So I've marked out the holes. There's one there, one there, one there, and I've already drilled one there. Using one of these long cone drill bits, we drill through a hole through there. So that drills through the roof. So we take that one off. And then we use the wider cone bit to open this hole up a little bit. And as by this one, if you have a look, so if you see that one, it's got the small hole at the top. Now, I can get the head of the bolt through there and a socket over the head of the bolt or nut, should I say, because it's gonna be bolting down through the top. So a long socket will go on the nut from this side and then I will tighten it up with a spanner on the other side. So because that's a very small hole, um, I should go, once I've drilled all these holes, I'll then go on the roof and drill holes big enough to put the M8 bolts through. Because M8 bolts are gonna go through the Unistrut and through into this. Now, once the Unistrut's on the roof, I'm only gonna test fit it, really, because that's gonna come off ready for spraying the van. Now, when it comes to spraying the van, I'm gonna undercoat the Unistrut. I'm gonna be, sorry, I'm gonna be primer. I'm gonna prime the Unistrut and prime the van with the same color. Then I'm gonna put some Sikaflex in line along where the Unistrut's gonna go. And I'm gonna bolt it and Sikaflex it around the holes and bits. And once the van's sprayed, that will get sprayed the same color as the van, so it becomes basically part of the van. And then I'm gonna put a bead of Sikolet flex along each side of the Unistrut, so it actually looks like part of the van. It'll all become apparent when it's done, and why and how and what. 
So yeah, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to drill some of these holes. Um, I'm going to put the Unistrut on the roof so you can see exactly what I mean. And I should drop the bolts through so you can see that as well. I started spraying these Unistruts. Now they're not actually Unistrut. It's the Unistrut copy, which is supplied by an electrical company called TLC Direct. I'll leave a link in the description below for that Unistrut because it's going to play a huge part on the roof of that and it's going to hold the solar panels um, I'm going to have some sort of kind of outriggers as well which are going to hold some lights there's all sorts going to be going on that bus but yeah so these are going to get painted black as well I needed to undercoat them with a bit of etch primer right we're up on the roof of the bus and we're going to be installing this Unistrut lens it's got one and a half meter that end and we've got the big three meter long bit this end now they've been painted as you can see i'm putting sicker flex around the hole and i'm putting sicker flex around the unistrut itself the reason i'm going to do that is i want to make sure this goes nowhere because although it's being attached through the fiberglass roof at fiberglass roof and the box section still inside i just want to make sure this is totally secure and um what I'm going to do is put this on a bit of a time lapse so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm not going to film the whole thing, but so you get a rough idea of how I'm going to do this ready for when I'm going to put the solar panels up. Right, so that's the first roof bar up there. Look, nice and secure. And it goes the full length of the bus. So yeah, we have a lot of roof. And a lot of Unistrut. That's four and a half meters. Got a three meter length and a one and a half meter length, which is joined together with just like a, it's a joining section to join them both. I know I didn't need to because it's bolted to the roof and sick of flex to the roof, but that's what the solar panels are going to attach to. I'm going to attach the uh, Wi-Fi aerial to that. I'm going to attach the TV aerial to that. Um, I'm also going to attach some lights, but they're going to come out on sort of hangers out this way, um, which are going to be attached, which are going to help secure the solar panel to the Unistrut. And then have these LED lights along the side on the outside. That's the plan. Again, whether it happens or not, is another story. But I will come back to you once it's all done and I will show you inside how I bolted them through the roof and how we secured them. Right, it's amazing how these batteries run out on these cameras. Right, so just so you can see what I've done, there's a hole there and it goes right out through the roof. There's one there, I've got one there. One there, one there, and one up there, and the same on that side as well. Um, there, and there. Right, so let me explain. Oh, let's get you out of the light. So let me explain. What's going to happen is, um, I'm using this stuff. Now it's 41 by 41, and it's one and a half mil thick. Now this, most of you know it's called Unistrut. Now, this is actually um, a copy made by Univolt. It's a damn sight cheaper. It's quite light compared to the Unistrut stuff. And it does exactly the same job. It also is compatible with any Unistrut fixings. 
So I've got four and a half meters each side going up. Now, it's a bit of an overkill, but it gives me space to attach other things like my Wi-Fi aerial, um, the TV aerial, solar panels, um, literally anything else I want to put up there at a later date. Um, I could add an extra solar panel at some point because there will be room. So with this Unistrut roof rack, um, unlike the traffic where there was fixing points, I've had to create fixing points on this. Um, the plan is put it on the roof, put a bit of sicker flex under the Unistrut as well, bolt it down through one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven bolts on each side. So it'll be bolted, sicker flex down, and along the edge of each, um, one of the Unistrut lengths, it will be sicker flex, like a bead of sicker flex, to try and mold it part like it's part of the roof. So it'll look good, it will look good, I know it is. I always have these visions what things are gonna look like. It's quite amazing really, because I'm kind of creative, but not, but when I have these visions, I know exactly what I want. I know roughly how I'm gonna get there. A lot of it is winging it. Um, I know a lot of people use Van Space 3D. I've got that. I played with it once or twice, but I need to have a little bit more of a play with it, and I need to have a try and design a van on there. I should do it really, because apparently it's an amazing piece of kit. So I'm going to give it a go. But as far as this roof rack's going to go, it'll be able to house all sorts, and also I'll be able to put extend it. I'll be able to put maybe a roof box on there if I want. Mind you, the van's quite big enough as it is. I don't think I need a roof box. So yeah. So the next time you see this part of the video of the roof rack build for this van, it'll be primer in it and putting it on the roof because the van will be painted then. Well, not painted, but it'll be primed. Right, okay, everybody, that's it for this week's video and the Unistrut bars on the roof of the new bus. I hope you enjoyed what we've done with it. Um, hope you're enjoying the content. If there's anything specifically you want to see with this bus or anything you need to know, leave it in the comments below. Also, I have been called the Unistrut King. And because I've been called the Unistrut King, I've decided to use Unistrut in quite a heavy way in this bus. So some of the plans for the um, future parts of this build is gonna include this stuff. So if you're interested in it, because um, like I say, it's really, really versatile stuff, um, keep watching, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, and please hit the notification bell especially give me a like because that apparently helps the youtube analytics and helps my channel grow and the more it grows the more i can do the more i do the more you can enjoy but i'm afraid that's it for today um please let me know what you think leave your comments below be nice no need to be nasty be nice um i enjoy a good bit of banter but there's no need to be nasty and I find a lot of YouTubers saying this. So many people get so many negative comments. Constructive criticism? Totally, I'll take that all day long. But the rest of it, you know, just be nice. It's nice to be nice. It takes less energy. So I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying well. Most of all, staying really, really happy. Bye for now.